Dean of Running Math, we continue to work with measurement and we're focusing on estimating length. Sometimes you do not have to have the exact measurement, all right? Now, if you're trying to build something like a house, then you're really going to want to make sure your measurements are exact. But sometimes if it's not that important, you can estimate or just kind of take a really good guess about how long something is. So let's start off by reviewing some of the tools that we've talked about before that can help us kind of measure. So your little small finger on your hand is about one centimeter wide. Or we talked earlier a couple of lessons ago about how a quarter is right about an inch wide. So you can use quarters to help. Or um, a foot, they used a loaf of bread. Now for you guys, being in second grade, your shoes would not be a good example, but sometimes when you get older, if your foot is bigger, that's close to a foot. So I'll use that term foot to measure. So you could use like shoes and things as well as that loaf of bread. Or if we're talking about one meter or one yard, we're talking about that meter stick or yard stick. Hopefully your teacher has shown you what that looks like. That's about the width of a door. So you can always kind of look at the door and use that to help you kind of estimate how wide or the length of something. So a couple of examples from the book, they had us estimate the length of a stamp. It really wouldn't matter exactly maybe how exact the stamp is, but they said to estimate. So in the book, they use your little fingers. And so hopefully you did that in class, that you used your little finger to estimate. And so they estimated that it would be three or four and it is three or four centimeters because we're using our little finger, all right? Here's a piece of ribbon. Now, we know the length of the clip, the hair clip, is two inches, but we can estimate the length of the rest of this ribbon by knowing how much space or the length of this part right here. So I'm not going to draw a picture because I'm not very good at drawing pictures. But if I look at this and think about this being two inches, then I could really see here that it's probably about another two inches, maybe a little bit more than that. So I know that this is two inches and this would be two inches. So let's fix that. Doesn't look like a very good two for us. So this is two inches, this two inches. So that'd be about four inches. It might be a little bit more. So we could say, again, we're estimating four or five inches using our abbreviation four inches. So sometimes an estimation or a close guess is enough. But if it's something really important, you're going to make sure you have the exact measurement.